Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin. It's Tuesday, June the 23rd. I was uh, meeting with a couple of guys early this morning for a small uh, Bible study. We were talking about Solomon and and just the the great opportunity that he had and and, uh, what he ended up doing with that. And uh, I was reminded in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, Solomon writes, So I became great and surpassed all who were before me in Jerusalem. Also my wisdom remained with me, and whatever my eyes desired I did not keep from them. I kept my heart from no pleasure, for my heart found pleasure in all my toil, and this was my reward for all my toil. Then I considered all that my hands had done and the toil I had expended in doing it, and behold, all was vanity and a striving after wind, and there was nothing to be gained under the sun. When I read those words, I hear the voice of a man who is finding no satisfaction in life. Uh, they he could have everything we could have everything our heart desires and yet still find it to be unsatisfying in these uncertain days it's very easy uh, to fall into that that pattern where things that used to bring us great joy just don't seem to don't seem to do it for us anymore so if you maybe are in that situation today, uh, let me encourage you to do a couple of things. First, let me encourage you to remember where you came from. God created you to experience his blessing in life. Uh, the very first thing it says that God did for humanity is he blessed them. Uh, That's God's design for us. So remember where you came from. God created you to experience his blessing. Second, reclaim your purpose. Uh, Don't ever forget that God has a, a purpose for you in his creation. He created you to be in relationship with him. He created you to represent him in this world. And so you have a purpose. And that purpose brings value and can be a huge source of satisfaction in your life. And then third, uh, rejoice in the future, in the future that God has designed for you, a a future in which you and I get the privilege of enjoying God forever. We get to celebrate him and and enjoy him and have take great pleasure in this relationship that we have with him. That's the kind of stuff that'll bring meaning to life and and fill life with real satisfaction. So let me pray for you today. Father, I thank you that even in these crazy days where it seems like uh, just the the pressure of the circumstances that we find ourselves in dampens all of, of the satisfaction and joy that we can have in this life, even in this broken world. And so uh, help us, Lord, to, to remember where we came from, to remember that we've been created by you, that we are sustained by you, and that, and that your design is for us to experience your blessing. And that's a source of great satisfaction. God, help us to reclaim the purpose that, that you brought us into existence for. We were created to bring honor and glory to you. We were created, given the task of representing you, uh, 
being your representative here in your creation. And, uh, oh, that, that brings so much meaning to life. And then, uh, Father, uh, give us the ability to latch hold of this future that you have designed for us, to know that we get to enjoy you forever. And as we do so, Lord, fill our days with meaningful, significant, satisfaction-bringing activity. For your glory is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. This coming Sunday, I'm going to be starting a new series from a uh, small little letter, Second Thessalonians in the Bible. Uh, the series is called Finding Hope in Uncertain Times. Second Thessalonians, it's a, it's a really short letter written to people who were actually struggling and had questions about uh, what the Bible calls the day of the Lord. They were having questions about the, the coming of Jesus into this world. And so I want to I want to invite you to join us at either our 9 or 1030 service. You can join us in person in the worship center or outside uh, at the end of our uh, the children's wing out in the parking lot or in your vehicle, as we had several folks do this past Sunday out in the parking lot, uh, or even at home uh, online. Um, as my friend George Wright reminded me yesterday, uh, let's practice wisdom in all of our actions, and let's be positive in our witness as we continue to love our community like never before.